what up? <laughs> I'm hurting. <laughs> so, um, I've been having contractions since last night. Um, I had some really painful contractions actually last night to like another level that I have yet to experience. So, <laughs> obviously that's not as the worst that it's going to get, right? But um, anyways, last night about 2 o'clock I went to the bathroom and I had a lot more mucus stuff. So apparently I didn't lose my mucus plug all at once, which I kind of didn't think I did. But um, it was definitely like a pink, whitish, snotty stuff. Again, last night, woo, having a contraction as we speak. <laughs> My stomach is like rock solid, baby. I'm ready to have this baby. And it's just, my contractions will not stay consistent, which is the only crappy thing. So, who's calling? Anyways, I found the Cheez Its. Um, I'm just eating just to eat. Do you guys ever do that? I'm not even hungry. I then had lunch, which was complete crap. But, and now I'm eating more crap. Who cares? I'm on my phone. I can eat what I want. So yeah, I experienced a contraction last night that was in my back. And I have yet to feel one in the back. Ooh, that's uncomfortable. So, I'm wearing my husband's shirt today. We um, got my mom's birthday present. UPS brought it yesterday. And all of last evening, me and my husband put that freaking thing together. The directions were crap. Didn't explain anything very well at all. So that's what we were doing all evening. Literally. And he just come home like about, I don't know, an hour ago. And we took it up there because she's not home right now because she's at work. And we set it in her room so when she comes home she has her birthday surprise um it was my idea to get her a vanity but me my dad and my brother are all going to go in on the payment for it um, my brother went ahead and like ordered it off amazon because they have amazon prime so it only took like two days to get here or something but it's kind of exactly like my vanity but it's a little bit fancier and it's like a cherry color and you guys have seen mine mine's black so, I hope she likes it. She had told me that she wanted a place to sit down and do her makeup so she didn't have to stand in the bathroom anymore. So I was like, she really needs a vanity. So I hope she likes it. I have no idea, guys. Her room is kind of tight. So I was like, um, I hope she has somewhere to set this thing. But she'll figure it out because she's kind of like, she likes to move things around like me. And she's kind of... OCD like me as well. That's where I get it from. I get it from my mama. So I'm not doing anything. I think I'm just going to go kind of relax on the bed for a little bit because I am having some contractions right now, but not like consistent. And the ones that I were ha having last night were actually a lot more intense than what I've had today. It's about one o'clock. I cleaned my bedroom today and um, tidied up, did some laundry. I'm trying to keep on top of the house because, <laughs> I don't know, it just, I think I'm in like that mode anyways, the the whole nesting mode. I haven't really talked about that. Um, I did film a 40 week pregnancy update yesterday um, and I'm just kind of like trying to keep on top of things as much as I can. To make it easier for myself so that's what I've been doing guys um, it's really cold outside today it's like snowing it's like nasty it's Wednesday and um, everybody's like thinking that I'm gonna have a st. Patty's baby um, I don't know um, I don't know this is just getting to where I just really don't know like it's like a waiting game and having these contractions like steadily since Sunday but not like consistent just it's I don't know it's kind of frustrating because it's like okay because like when I get some and I'm like okay are we going to are we going to start 
the labor process or is this a joke? <laughs> so it's just really frustrating. And this being my first baby, like I don't really know what to expect. So it's just really hard, you know? So I'm gonna go chill and watch some cleaning videos because there's a bunch of new videos that I wanna watch and just relax for like an hour or so. Then I'm gonna try to edit my 40 week update. So I will talk to you guys later. Well, it's another morning and no baby, um, but last night was the worst that I have felt the Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, I'm assuming that's what they were. My friend just snapped me and said that she would get them like that too. And um, I just like, I don't know guys, like I just have a feeling something is in the works. Um, I feel a little uncomfortable right now, but I had to get up kind of earlier than what I wanted to to come out here and sit down because um, all of last night I just was getting like intense, like cramping on and off. Like I slept, but when I'd wake up and have one, it was like, oh, like they were way more intense than I've had yet. So I had to have my orange juice with my iron pill so I can eat in a little bit. But um, also I've been having the um, mucus stuff all day yesterday and then this morning I'm still having it. So I must have lost mine like slowly and that's what's going on. It's 7.15 on Thursday, March uh, 15th and I am 39 weeks today. Tomorrow's a doctor's appointment I have in Winchester and my mom is going to go with me tomorrow but I told my mom I want to throw my bags in the car just in case. Um, I don't know guys. It's really weird. Like I don't have them as bad. It seems like the worst that I've experienced them is in the middle of the night when I'm laying down in bed which is really weird. I feel like you would be more comfortable in bed and laying down then why would you have like pains but I don't know <laughs> anyways um, yeah I just wanted to update you guys I don't really know what I'm I think I might put this video together um, maybe and um, or maybe I'll just wait and vlog a little bit tomorrow and let you guys know what the doctors say at my appointment and keep you updated but that's what's up What's up guys? So it is Thursday, yes, Thursday night. Um, I just got done editing my 38 week pregnancy update video, which is the last update, which is really sad, but um, <laughs> like I said, I do want a total of two kids, so hopefully I'll have the opportunity to do those kind of videos again because it is really sad to look back on like the first one that I made and now we're at the end like it's crazy and sad and <laughs> yeah I'm gonna miss being pregnant but at the same time I'm so ready to go back to being like having my body to myself and um, I'm ready to have my son in my arms <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to update you guys um, I have been having like contractions on and off all day and I'm still leaking mucus um, TMI but like my mucus plug is still leaking I've had it like really bad today so it's like my contractions are getting worse and they're more painful I experienced a really painful one today um, probably the most painful one yet that I've experienced and it was at my mom's house when I was up there and she was just like looking at me like she knew. She was like, are you okay? And I'm just like, oh my God, that hurts. Like it was bad. So um, I've been trying to practice like breathing whenever I feel one coming on just to breathe through it. Um, um, but yeah, it, it's crazy. I just wait until I go into active labor. Ooh. I know, but like I want to go into active labor because I'm ready to have this boy. But anyways, tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment early, so 
Um, I might take you guys along and update you, or I'll update you when I get home tomorrow. And then we'll end the vlog tomorrow after I tell you what they say to me. But I'm going over to my regular doctor in Winchester tomorrow instead of the hospital. So, as long as everything is going good and I'm not in active labor, um, that's where I'm going. So, yeah, um, it's like 9 o'clock at night. We're getting ready to go to bed. But, oh, God, I'm having one right now, guys. Having a contraction. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> it freaking hurt. <laughs> like everybody tells you that labor hurts or uh, contractions hurt. They're not lying. They hurt. They're very uncomfortable. Like, um, I never was a person to like when it was that time of the month and I had period cramps. I'd always get my doll. So <laughs> I've been like. I got that in the back of my mind, like, hey, I need my doll, but no. Because <laughs> that's what it feels like. To me, right now, what I'm experiencing is, like, intense period cramps, I guess. But not at the level that I think that they're going to be at, of course. But I'm trying to be tough, okay? I keep telling myself I can do it. I can do it. So I hope I can. So guess where we are? We're walking the baby. This is oh, weird. one's out. He wants to stretch him legs and Cole, I'm gonna beat your butt for bringing us down here in the middle of the night. You just come out. That's right, grandma said. <sighs> so like contractions are three to five minutes apart. They kind of slowed down though, but. She dilated to three. My three. <laughs> need Making speed progress. It up. <laughs> Contraction. Breathe in through your nose. Release through your mouth. Ooh. See what you're doing to your mommy, Cole? She's holding you in there. Look at her. Look at her hands. It's like there's all this pressure. Trying to be strong. Trying to be tough. Trying to be tough. Trying to think positive thoughts. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. This is a weird. We come that way. What's up with it? It's just weird. Kind of looks like a spaceship. This must be like a kid's area or something. Yeah. Look at all these paintings on the wall. What kind of kid's paintings or something? Hey, did, did, did you pick up Brandy's black camera bag? Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so we finally got admitted into the hospital. It took a while because I'm moving slowly, but I am progressing. I'm almost at a five, and I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> I'm ready for the epidural, so. In my stylish gown. <laughs> Cole's doing good. There's people everywhere out there. But yeah, we're just waiting to go to our room finally, to be in our actual room room. So maybe we can get some rest. It's 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday. And we got here at two o'clock last night. I started having really bad contractions about 11.30. I woke up out of bed with them. And they were just painful. So, we're getting there. No, I don't feel shit. <laughs> it's a shake. I don't know. No, 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 what do I do here? Oh, I see you. Okay. You're filming now? Yeah. Okay. Hey, 
guys, so I just got the epidural and I don't feel any more contractions. It's amazing. <laughs> um, other than I have the shakes really bad, but they said that was normal. So we're just, uh, she's going to check me in about 15 minutes. They checked me a while ago and I was only at like a four and a half still. So I don't know what I, what I am now. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. How long have we been here? Uh, 11 hours. 11 hours. Wow. He's taking his time coming out. <laughs> okay. Speak okay, to us, Yordi. Um, well, I'm feeling a lot of pressure down there. <laughs> and I'm waiting for them to come back to check me. It's 420 out of all times. So. So we're just waiting and uh, pretty relaxed. Besides this, are you still recording? Yeah. Tell them I got this peanut ball between my legs. I'm assuming they brought blankets. Okay. Still looks like a pregnant belly. So, just an update. But me and Cole are doing really good. Um, I'm having a lot of pain down there. Deprived. But um, hopefully we can get some sleep tonight. Cole was starting to latch on to breastfeed. He's been snoring. He's tired. So we spent the late the night last night and I was a little overwhelmed because Cole was he was a little fussy last night and I wasn't able to get him to um, latch on breastfeeding. So Today I had a lactation consultant to come and help me and she's awesome. So I'm going to try to do it on my own. Um, she's helped me feed him twice today to get him to latch. She's really good at what she does. It's really so much harder than what I thought it would be to breastfeed. Because like I don't know why but I just thought all babies like latched really fast. But it's it's just really it's difficult so but I'm getting it he, he ate twice today got some colostrum and I'm so happy he's pooped like four or five times today so that's all good um, he just had his first bath a little bit ago and he did not like that <laughs> but then they Rita she wrapped him swaddled him up he was like a statue So perfect. Here's my baby. He's so perfect. Thank you. 
we get to go home tomorrow, hopefully. That's why I'm really gonna try to get this breastfeeding thing down. Um, plus, he's getting circumcised in the morning, which I'm not, like, I'm not looking forward because he's gonna be cranky and stuff probably the rest of the day. They said, anyways, he's such a content and happy baby. So, my husband's kids come and vis visited a little while ago. So, he got to meet his brother and sister. And my family was amazing yesterday with their support. Couldn't have done it without them, and my husband was awesome. And the staff of Winchester Medical Center was incredible. I met a lot of good, good people yesterday, and they really just cared. And yourself to it and um, I did really well so I'll have to tell you guys more about it in the labor and delivery story but it was a really good experience even though it was the hardest thing I ever had to do but it was worth every minute of it okay um I don't know what else to update you guys on I hope you can hear me but my husband's sleeping so to get up and walk around because I've been in this freaking bed and the, what really hurts me is down below so whenever I try to sit up or get out of bed it's really hard and it hurts really bad so I just need to get up and walk I was thinking about going out and actually walking a little bit but I don't know <laughs> this thing that I bought does not really it doesn't really look forward to seeing baby Cole in the upcoming vlogs um, and just enjoy being updated by him. I'm so excited to go home where me and my husband are ready to leave. Um, we got put in recovery last night and you can't get any rest because they're constantly coming in like every couple of hours and checking your vitals and just all kind of crap and it's we're just like we're over it. like we appreciate their help and what they're doing but we're just ready to go you know what I mean and we cannot wait to go home so yeah and I'm catching on to like new things you know and um I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable about you know holding the baby like and it's just it was something that I was really scared about because you just feel like you're gonna break them, but the way the way that these nurses are, it's just I don't know. They just like pick him up and, and like I'm just like so careful, you know. And I can't wait until I get more of the hang of things, and then I'll be good. So yeah, I think that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe. And we will see you guys when we're back at our house. And I'll have some updates and a story time video. And all that fun stuff. So, I love you guys very much. And I'll 